Here again, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus. And I talk to you oftentimes about God. I want you to know how beautiful life can be when you trust God and not trust man. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time right now telling you what it's like when you're trusting man. You see, when you are trusting man, you are trusting people who have decided that there is no God, that this is just an open space. And one who's smart can take advantage of this open space to their benefit. And so since there's no one claiming to be God, then there are those who claim to be God. And to them, God means having power and dominion over everything. And they who have no other real true understanding of God and God's way realize that there are things that people are afraid of. Number one is death. So they come up with some kind of con concoction to make sure that they have a means of imposing death on people and the willingness to do it and immediately starts manipulating and controlling people to become whatever they want them to become. And as the world grows and the dominion is spread to all people and when if somebody is someplace else, then you, the same practice that we practice today, you want to be powerful, you want to have dominion over other people, you want to take their lands, you battle them and take their resources and make you big, and it doesn't, it's not like you want to take over so everybody can enjoy life. No, you want to take over so they can suffer while you enjoy more life. That's the way of the world. And so, ladies and gentlemen, when we see in a country like our country, the United States of America, you got the same thing happening. It's the same thing happening that happens across the world. You got people in the country trying to say that they are more important than others. That's what it's all about. I'm more important than you. I'm smarter than you. Donald Trump told him, I'm smarter than you. I got the best brain I got. Now, that's just a reflection of what millions of Americans think. I got the money. I play. I was a crook. I stole it, but that makes me smart. I know how to get around the system. And the people say, yeah, 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 yeah. They say that because they know that the system is in such a way that they wish they could get around the system and get some benefit. But they wish that way because they have no knowledge of the the proper way, the righteous way that prevents all that ugly stuff. That prevents all that hatred and racism and bigotry that comes, the poverty, crime, and violence that exists out of that. All of that happens because people do not accept the God that you can't see that allows each individual to reflect th that God in what they do. Reflect that God in what they do, not reflecting what you want and then see it all about us and complain about it, but we have to keep on doing it because you concocted up something that says we got to continue doing this stuff because you have made who have, who have taken over have decided to institute money which everybody got to have some of to get any of the things that they really need, and so you got them by the balls. Woo! The world controlled by the balls of evil. Uh, the world controlled by evil. Well, anyway, I can't get that together, but it hurts like somebody got you by the balls. Mm, mm, mm. But the thing that I'm saying this for, ladies and gentlemen, is to identify what you already know. You know this happens. Nobody's coming to your rescue. And when we have people who say, that they want to pretend or reflect that they are doing okay, that they are basically good people by choosing sides. They need to be told the truth too. Choosing any side of wrong is wrong. It doesn't make you any better. Choosing any side of wrong is wrong, and it does, and it's wrong for you too. You just joined a side of wrong that you felt better joining. But you now are just as wrong as anybody else. You see, if you're not fixing the problem, then you're part of the problem. For instance, let me give you an example. Hamas did something over in Israel. That was wrong. Now, Hamas said what Israel had been doing to them motivated them, gave them the right to do it. It didn't give them the right to go there and sin. There are other things you could have done without sinning. 
that would have made uh, what, ha what is happening to you more obvious. But you didn't know that because nobody's telling you the truth. And so you went over and committed an act. Now Israel over there telling everybody how wonderful they are and how close they are with God came over and got you back because you did something to them. And they have the, what damage you did to them, they have multiplied a hundred, looked like a hundred thousand times. Now, what they think, that's because their power, and they got this here all together. And it is because they got the power. It is because they got the support. But the truth of it is, they acted as a bigger devil than you. But it doesn't make any difference. A devil is a devil. You were a small devil acting, and the big devil came back and got on you. And the United States went and joined with an, a part of the devil. Why I say that? Because nothing is resolving the problem. The problem still exists. Bombing that place didn't do anything that started to, to, to resolve the problem. What Hamas did didn't do anything to resolve the problem. It's because we're living in ignorance. We're living a lie. We are not living about love. And when you wake up this morning, you hit, oh, why am I talking over there? When you wake up this morning, you look at the telly, they telling you about all the ugly stuff that's going around. Telling you about all the ugly stuff, trying to make you angry, make you more angry. So you can get down on this ugly stuff and stop this ugly stuff. And get down, get mad, stand up. That ain't going to do nothing. It ain't doing nothing but making you a bigger devil. You think you are better than they are you making sure that everybody's protected? Are you making sure that satisfaction comes to everybody? Hell no. So what makes you think you're any better than any other devil? See, my job is to tell you, you're a devil. Why? Because you're not doing what you would want done for you. Anyway, thank you so very much. I just wanted to share with you what happens when there is a man trying to replace God. Until next time, goodbye for now.